area researchers focusing on cognitive health in West Texas. The primary purpose of this study is to identify uh, what biological, environmental, social, and um, demographic and psychosocial parameters contribute to healthy brain aging in West Texas. Basu says most cognitive studies focus on the disease that causes cognitive decline. This study, she says, a changing focus. The way it works, they start off with the cognitive test called the Montreal Cognitive Assessment, or MOCA. It is scored on 30 points, and anybody that scores anywhere between uh, 26 and above, they are of healthy cognition. And then anything below that is progressively um, kind of deterioration of uh, mild cognitive impairment or dementia. Researchers are looking at an array of factors, including demographics, income, financial status, even blood biomarkers. We gather information about blood sugar, hypertension, all of their kind of vitamin profile, lipid profile, metabolic panel, you name it, we do it. Like, you know, the regular blood work. In addition to that, we also get MRI scans to see if they have some sort of atrophy or kind of shrinking in brain volume. Basu tells us using this comprehensive and holistic approach allows them to paint a more detailed picture of the various factors of cognitive health in the elderly. There might be genetic uh, predisposition, but when the disease uh, uh, kind of uh, when the onset of dis of the disease occurs and whether you can delay it from mild cognitive impairment to dementia, that is something which which we intend to do. She says the ongoing study is in its preliminary stages and they're looking to recruit up to 4,000 healthy participants and up to 500 participants who have some degree of cognitive decline or dementia over the next five to 10 years. In Amarillo, Rochelle Hamilton Jr., KAMR, Local 4 News.